program um, organized by the Koku Anyidoho led um, Atamils Institute was supposed to end before 9 a.m. to make way for the second um, event. Sister of the late president, um, John Evans Atamils, has been addressing the issue on the podium. Um, she says that the family is disgusted by what she describes as an ugly incident. She said they would deal with Koku Anyudo. That Koku has stepped on the wrong foot by tempering with our brother's brave, without our knowledge, that is totally unacceptable. And now, we are going to deal with him. Because it's a taboo in our family to do that. Whatever that you want to do, you have to consult the family. And we have to give you our approval. Because you have the money to go and do everything you want. Well, my brother preached as Mugri. But some of us, we sometimes reserve that as Mugri. The national chairman um, of the NDC, Johnson Esiedu Nketia, has also been speaking to the issue. He describes uh, Koku Anyudo and others as pretenders who are celebrating the legacy of John Evans Atamils. He says if the NDC is voted um, into power, they'll make sure that the pretenders face accountability. Number one, let us remember Professor Mills as a man of peace and a unifier. It is unfortunate that after his death, some pretenders would want to do everything by way of remembering him, everything that he never stood for. Because of the speech of Auntie Araba, I don't intend to go further. And just to assure you that next year, this celebration will be massive. And that will be the day of accountability for the pretenders. The day is fast coming. Flag bearer of the NDC, John Mahama, was silent on the earlier incident. In fact, he was not present when it happened. In his speech, he said, the values that John Evans Atamil stood for is currently um, absent in Ghana's governance um, structure. He says the NDC will restore those values if it is elected in the December um, elections. It hurts deeply that we have to make reference to our dear former president in the past tense, especially at this time when his vision, his direction, and his values, which he had in abundance and which Ghana so desperately needs, are in such short supply in our country today.